Hello everybody and welcome to RimWorld and to something a little bit different today. Um, I have decided that for Alpha 15 I am going to do my own scenario. So this is the scientist scenario. So I'll read it for you. You jumped at the chance to be part of a scientific expedition to search for new life on hostile planets. Unfortunately this one was a bit too hostile and the ship crash landed and got blown to pieces. That's meant to just either. Will you be able to survive on this planet of death, or will the conditions prove too brutal? So what we've got here is a pretty nasty planet. And it has toxic fallout, permanently. And it has flash storms, permanently. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? But we've got a few things that can help us out in this sort of horrible situation. Okay, so it's not all bad. First thing that will help us out a little bit, and I'll go to the scenario. I'll go to the menu, I can review the scenario. We will start with three people. We will start already knowing how to make gun turrets, stone, how to cut stone, and how to do geothermal power. We will have 200% research speed because we are scientists. Okay, so we have toxic fallout and flash storm. And we start with some really quite reasonable um, starting equipment. We have silver, gold, package survival meals, glitter world medicine, components, one charge rifle. Unfortunately, I probably should have made that into more than one gun to start off with, but I'll tweak that scenario a little bit before I put it up on, I'm gonna possibly put it up on the Steam Workshop. Uh, 450 steel and 300 granite blocks to start off with. Okay, so that's really, really good. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to reclaim this little area here and we're going to set up a little base in here so that we're safe from the toxic fallout. And I'm going to possibly see what's in here. I hope it's nothing horrendous. And what we're going to need to do very quickly is to make a stockpile. So do you know what, I'm actually, I'm going to be, I'm going to deconstruct that wall. I'm going to be brave. It could be a terrible idea, but hopefully I can put a stockpile in one bit and a bedroom in another bit without doing too much mining to start off with. So let's see what's in there. Ancient danger. Oh no. Okay, right, if, if you feel like it's going to be really dangerous there, then I think we should leave that be. And I think we maybe should think about not setting up a base there then. Damn, that's annoying. I really wanted to set up a base there. And also, I don't know where all the map is at the moment. Let's look at it. There's another one of these situations where half the map is sort of concealed to us. What a pain. Okay, I would say that probably a really good place to start off would be over here. We could start using this wall. We could carry on expanding that wall over and make a little room out of it. And then build the rest of the base back into here. I think that would be the best idea, really. It's going to mean that we'll have to brave the flash storms and everything to make us a, to carry all the stuff in. But it'll be worth it, I think. Okay, let's do that. I mean, what I could temporarily do is move all the stuff in there, keep it safe. I think it'll be alright for a while, though. Okay, I'm just keep changing my mind here. I don't know why. I shouldn't be. So I am going to want to put a geotherm there as soon as I can. We've got components already in the wall, that's pretty good. So I'm going to order them to mine. I'm going to start off with the corridor. I know that's sometimes a bit of a waste of space. Uh, not really a waste of space, but a waste of mining effort. But I do think it's worth it. So I'm going to put a corridor in. I'm going to start off with like a nice big double room, so it's going to be 11 by 5. And that will be our starter room. 
you know what I need to do is make it like that because otherwise I won't be able to fit a room on the other side so I'm probably going to want another room like here in fact probably not even that I, I might want to start it even further in actually one more further in just in case so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Move the doorway so it's more central. And then we don't need to mine out anything else. So that's going to be our starter room. We'll build some walls, um, sort of, to make the doorway a little bit more, uh, probably like that, across there. Okay. So what we need to do now is give them some work to do. So as usual, the priorities are set like not very well. So we need to put them onto manual priorities and we need everybody to be good firefighters, patients, do flick switches. And why would you put one person flicking a switch? It's ridiculous. That one person is the only person that can press a button. It's like, that's very silly. Doctoring, I've got five doctoring there. I've got a really good grower. And a couple of mm, mediocre sort of growers. Everyone repairs, no matter how bad they are at it, they can at least try. Constructing is probably best done by the better person because otherwise you can do a bit, I think. You can do most of it. I should change their names as well, really. I'll do that in a minute. Wardening, whatever. Animal handling, whatever. Cooking. Really important that everyone takes a turn at cooking if they can. So three, four, and three. So they're almost as good as each other when it comes to cooking. Hunting, as usual, is four for everybody. Um, construction I already covered. Growing I already covered. Everyone can mine. And I'm going to put that as a fairly high priority at the moment because we need to do a lot of mining at the moment. And the rest can be done later, cleaning and hauling, as usual, be quite a high priority. Maybe not so much for hauling actually, because we've got a lot of stuff to haul in and they won't do the mining. So they should do the mining before they do the hauling with this particular priority setup. So off they go to do some mining, hopefully. We've avoided the ancient danger. We will probably come back at some point and deal with the ancient danger. We may never actually go and deal with the ancient danger. I might just decide. I can't be bothered seeing what's in there. It might be full of centipedes or something. So they're all going to go and start mining. So I'm just going to let them do that. And once they've done that, I really want a stock room as well. what we're going to need to just very quickly do is to construct, so hopefully they're sort of covered by the ceiling at this point, to construct a wall out of the granite blocks that they've got and to make a granite door. And then I'm going to need to make a granite wall all the way down here with a granite door in about there. And that'll be the start of their base. Now, it looks to me like we can't really, I think this is the edge of the map, so we can't really build past about here. But that's fine at the moment, because all I want is enough for a sun lamp in these areas. So the idea will be that we have sun lamps, because um, I think we can already do them. We'll probably have one there and one down about there. Mm. There's a couple of places we could have the sun lamps, but we need a geotherm before we can do any sun lamps. So that will be our geotherm there. Once they've mined out this room, I'm going to make that half a bedroom, half a storeroom for now. So 
I'm going to want them to make beds. Granite. One, two. Three. So at least I've got somewhere to sleep. Oh, they're making the room bigger. Didn't realise they were doing that. As soon as they've mined, we'll get beds. the whole thing into a stock room. So it's just going to be a very starter room and then the stock room will be moving as soon as I can. I'm not going to leave stock rooms in rooms where they're going to be. And then I will also put in a granite horseshoe pin so that they're not joy deprived. So there's my start. Why are they not hauling stuff? Have I not, have I not unforbidden it? Typical. Anything else that I haven't forbidden? All the blocks have been forbidden. I think that's all of it. That's all their starter stuff. So they're going to go and haul that in now. And then hopefully after that they'll make their bed. And we'll have a bit to eat. Start hauling stuff in. Benway, I think... Can you not do anything at the moment? Benway, can't even... Oh, do you know what, Benway, you can... No, you can't construct. Ugh. Because Benway doesn't haul or clean, either. Or grow, or do anything useful. Benway can mine lots, though. So do you know what, Benway, that's what you're going to do. You're going to mine some more rooms out for us. I'm going to say that Benway's the only one that's going to mine from now on, just for now. No rest can construct and stuff like that. So if I put mining right down, right up to one for Benway and right down for the others, then Benway should do most of the mining if I tell him to mine a bit more base out. We're going to carry on there and we're going to also make a room over this side. Which will be... Not that about the same size as the one opposite it. But should still be inside that sort of area. And then after that we're going to start making some little 5x5s five five for the bedrooms. So 2, 3, 4, 5 2, 3, 4, 5 3 of them at the moment. But there'll probably be a wanderer very soon so we'll make 4. That's what I want Benway to mine out to start with. We'll make it a bit faster because people... Ah, oh, don't sleep outside! That's really not very smart, considering. Okay. Um... Well, you've had quite a lot of rest, so I'm going to just draft you. And you have as well. So you'll get drafted too and undrafted. And hopefully you've had enough rest that you'll just carry on. Oh! Go inside then. If you're going to keep sleeping. You may as well just sleep on the floor inside where you're not going to get toxic. Supposed to go where I tell you when you're drafted. Oh, there we are. Go in, and then I will undraft you, and you can sleep where you're stood. They'll probably run outside and sleep. Okay. That's better. You sleep in there. Even if you're sleeping on the floor, it's better than sleeping outside in toxic fallout and flash storms. Outside is dangerous in this particular. Um, scenario. Outside is a very dangerous place. I'm hoping they'll start hauling soon. If all they're doing is running outside to eat. I don't understand why they're not hauling. So let's uh, make hauling more of a priority for them. Then we will just carry on making the base. Everyone else can haul things in. Do the stockpile. 
And then hopefully they'll start constructing all the walls and things. We've got... We've only got nine meals left. What? Oh, right, okay. Most of the meals are here. Okay, so we've got 30, 40 odd meals. And what we need to do before those meals get consumed is to have growing happening. So I need this area to be a farm, basically. To be a greenhouse area. So what I'll probably do is make the greenhouse. I'll I'll just um, plan out the growing areas and then I'll put stuff around them. So I'll do probably what I did before was the the whole idea of the. Um, how big is it going to be? I might need a pillar, you see, if I if I do it too big. So, um, we struck on facting steel. Oh, that's fantastic. Good, good, good. So I'm thinking we'll, we'll we'll set the growing zones like right near to the geotherm. Maybe enough room for a wall around it. So we'll do some five by fives. Because I had four ten by tens, didn't I? Last time. So it was five by ten, so I had four of them. Two. Three. with a wall around and that was fine so I think I'll try that again so we'll keep the walls quite close and then we're going to have um, probably need to have two it worked quite well didn't it because it had two sun lamps and they just fitted actually I would make it one longer in this case because we've got the room for it so I would have a sun lamp there and a sun lamp there and then I would just increase these by one in length. No, I wanted to expand growing zone five. Ugh. Always happens to me. You need to basically you need to um, select it before you do the growing zone again, and then it will extend like so. And then we will build, hopefully this will work. If not, we might need to put a pillar in, but a granite wall and it's going to just go exactly around because I can't afford to waste materials in this one, making it look pretty. So we'll have a door in there and there. And then what I'm going to probably want to do is to put a corridor in some description so probably would expand this corridor down that's probably gonna want the geotherm inside as well um what am I gonna do here so this is all very slightly out of line with where I want it to be so we'll butt it right up to the G I'm going to cancel all of that. And I'm going to move the growing zones over. No. Delete. 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 Okay, so the idea will be then that we go down here. And down here. And across here. And then in here we're going to make 11 by 11 growing zones. 11 by 5, sorry. Uh, growing zones. 5 by 11. 5 by 11. 5 by 11. 5 by 11. And then some walls around them this is a big ask to start with but it'll be so worth it I hope their meals don't run out before they've managed this I'm actually going to cancel this outer wall for now I think it's more important for them to have the greenhouse wall up first 
So we'll just let them get on with that. I'll disallow sewing for now, because just in case anyone decides to get it into their heads to sew before it's become an indoor structure. about there just so they can get in they're all sleeping now I think they need to really prioritize the beds or they're gonna get in a bad mood See, they're already in a bit of a bad mood for sleeping on the floor I think but I think they've got everything in bar yeah just this little bit of silver and medicine that they need to bring in now we need defenses we need a meal source we need beds yeah you need everything I know We need to build all of this. Possibly giving them too much to do at once, but... Oh well. Gonna need a power conduit going across there. And that is all I'm gonna ask them to do for now. That should be enough to keep them alive. It is quite a lot I've given them to do, unfortunately. Okay, so hopefully once they've done that last little bit of the exterior wall, I will get them to carry on building that, by the way. Ah, oh, they're in a break, major break risk already. <coughs> Excuse my voice. Um, yeah, so. They are constructing the greenhouse, that's brilliant. Still really unhappy about this, stressed out. They haven't even built their horseshoe pin yet. I will just let them carry on constructing. And then they'll start growing. Uh, they've still got food, just about. Are you building that wall, guys? Come on. see what's bothering you. You're sick and you're joy deprived and you've got a hideous environment. Okay. Let's tell... Oh, don't sleep outside. Seriously. It's not funny anymore. Apparently all of those beds get made at once. Okay. Right there. And you can prioritise working on the horseshoe pin. Ah, apparently that can't be made. Is there not enough materials, really? We used all of the blocks already? And we have plenty of steel, so I'll make one out of steel, just so they've got something. Steel horseshoes pin. And put it in this room. That'd be their horseshoe room. Right, Lee. Prioritize working on that, please. And then you can go and play. Yay, that'd be fun, won't it? Right, so now they don't have enough resources to finish the wall. you need for one wall? Five. Five per wall. Wow. I should have made this smaller. I'm gonna run out of stuff. They've used granite blocks for the beds as well. Right, we need then a steel. I hate making this out of steel, but we have to. At least we've struck compacted steel here, so we'll have a, a fair amount of steel probably. We'll have more steel than we'll have wood, honestly. Um, so we shall make... The very first thing we'll make is a stone cutter's table out of steel. And we'll pop it in here next to the horseshoe. I'll get Lee to work on that as a priority. Now, stone cutting is... In fact, I wonder if... Sage, can you quickly... 
no. Apparently no one can go and speak to this guy now. Oh no, Lee can. Benway, can you? Yes, okay. Go do it, quick. Just in case they've got something cool. They have lavish meals, they have... We have packaged survival meals that will last us a little while while we're making our food plays. I shouldn't have been so worried. A machine pistol, a great bow. Nah, I'm just gonna kill raiders and steal their weapons. But as I say, I will adjust the scenario for that. So who is going to be stone cutting? So it will be the crafter. So that will be mostly sage or... Benway has reasonable skill at that so we could just make him do that as well as mining because the others can construct and sage is doing nothing oh she's she's on a mental wander oh dear that's not a good thing then wait get up Lee construct that bed at least one of you have a bed There we go. Sage can't do anything. Benway can't construct. But Benway can make blocks. Benway, please come inside. You're going to be really unhappy when you get sick. Okay, pro tip. When people start getting really stupid and, and sleeping outside, that's because you haven't made them beds. And you need to do that. So Lee... Make a bed. Benway, you're undrafted and you can go to bed. Except that's Lee's bed. Oh! I'm going to call this Toxic Mountain. So it's already starting to be quite hard. Uh, <laughs> go for another few minutes and then I will end the episode here. But Lee's already really sick. So Benway can have that bed. And then we just need to make a bed for um, Sage. I can't believe we've already had a mental break so early on. That's so bad. Moderate toxic buildup as well. Like she, she could die from that if she keeps wandering around. Please snap out of it. Please, please, please. And because she's joy deprived. There's a horseshoe pin like right in there. You could have used it. I don't even think restricting her will, will do anything at this point as well. I think she just goes where she will. Okay, so also when you have toxic build up. Let's see if I can restrict her. I'm going to make area one and I'm going to restrict her to it. I, I, no, I don't want my research screen. What am I clicking on that for? Um, or my zoning. And I want to expand allowed area, area 1, to be just, like, inside. And then I'm going to tell Sage that that's the only place she can go. And hopefully she will respect, respect that, but I'm not sure. If she's sad wandering, she may just ignore it. Starvation! Sage is starving! <laughs> Just stop it! Just go inside! I'm sorry! Oh, thank goodness me. Go to bed. Good. Do you know what? Um, we don't have enough resources for this bed. We really need a bed, so I'm actually going to make one out of steel. It's probably going to be really horrible to sleep on. It's better than nothing. So Lee, please make that bed. There, how good is that? Everyone has a bed now. A normal bed, an awful bed, and a good bed. Cool. Cool. 
Right, so the next thing I would like to do is to move the stockpile into this workroom so that their bedroom isn't like full of stuff. And then what I can also do is, I might actually, well I don't know, they're doing quite well with the mining so I'm, I'll be able to move the beds pretty soon. So stone cutting is really important right now, um, so let's get, alright oh, well Benway should be doing that as a priority but he's mining too much. So I need one mining and one crafting. So why don't we get Sage to do that? And get... Yeah, that would make more sense. We still have enough food, hopefully, to make it until we grow some more. Um, they are feeling neutral, which is really good for this stage. Why is Sage mining? Oh, no bills! Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. ah. Make stone blocks forever. Thank you. Glad I noticed that. That could have been terrible. Okay, so we've got a couple of good workrooms now. I need a dumping stockpile at some point. Probably pop it up just outside here. All of this is eventually going to be an inside place but you can only do one thing at once. Well, a few things at once. Come on, Sage. Minor break risk. Pirate raids will start soon. Well, to start with, who's our best person? Sage is a bit sick. Serious toxic buildup, right? Sage is still needing to be inside. I think she can stay inside, like, constantly, though. Oh no, Lee, what happened? Extreme toxic buildup. No! Benway, go rescue Lee. Quickly. Okay, so Lee is just gonna stay there. They just lose consciousness, so it's not the end of the world. And keep Sage inside. Benway's fairly content. Benway hasn't got any problem with toxic buildup at all, but can't construct. Which is kind of annoying. So we need to wait until Sage has. Uh... Oh, a Wanderer joins. That is good. That is really good. Right, we'll make them a steel bed as well, straight away, because I don't want them sleeping outside. Should just go down this side. And I will... Ah, oh, Blitz is working on the geotherm. Cool. I don't need... Oh, a brilliant researcher, actually. Got some really good researchers. So firefighting, patienting, bed resting. Oh, good doctor as well. That's a very good... Uh, Skills? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Repair. Constructing is quite good. Very good constructor, actually. You can be our constructor for now, because you're the only one that doesn't have... Oh, you've got asthma. Okay. Well, we can treat that with our Glitter World medicine. Um, right, so you're going to carry on making things for a bit. Let's just see what you're... Yeah, so there's no toxic buildup yet, so everyone else can stay inside. Like um, Lee has still got some really a real problem with that, so you're going to be restricted for now into inside. You can do a bit of mining and stuff. Yeah, you you can all do a bit of mining if you've got nothing else to do. And Lee is just having some fun with the horseshoes. Blitz is building us our geotherm. And then we are really going to need to get out and do some... Uh... I'm going to need to get that geotherm inside as soon as possible as well. But we need the greenhouse done first. I left a meal outside as well. But the only way we can eat is an indoor farm in this particular scenario. 
capacity. I'm still not sure that I'll be able to do it. So they've got joy. They've got a nice room. Say so yeah, I'm going to move the um, stockpile zone out of their bedroom, which will help them a little bit. Low medicine. What? what no med. Oh right, <laughs> it's going it's to be like there's nothing in storage. That's because I moved the storage room. Minor break risk on Blitz. What's wrong with you, Blitz? You've got a nice bed and stuff. In the dark. Slept outside. Why, why did you sleep outside? You didn't sleep outside. That doesn't count as outside. Oh, it does. Right. In that case, i desperately, desperately going to need a door on this particular room. If nothing else. Because there's no toxic fallout in there by the looks of it. It can't get in through the mountain roof. But it still counts as outside. So it's like sheltered, but outside. So hopefully someone will wake up and make a granite door there. Of course I'm moving the whole stockpile out, but you know what, that's a really good thing. I'll probably make a room indoors for the like dumping stockpile as well, for the stone. Okay, so the first individual bedroom is being made. Cleaning up inside and all that sort of thing. It's all good stuff. We've got we've got 27 meals now. This is a real countdown. So let's see, how's Blitz feeling? Still pretty bad. Um, once he gets rid of that starving modifier, he'll be feeling a lot better though. Just normal stressed. Having a little play on the horseshoes. Just gonna help. make a proper kitchen and stuff. He's got no... Oh, a new area. Okay, it's just a tiny little area behind there. That's kind of annoying because it breaks the, the whole... The whole room, really. The room will be the wrong size. And the wrong shape. Sage's husband is being chased by pirates. Mm, this this generally goes badly. And I don't have enough food, so I'm going to ignore it. Sorry. Let's see if Sage is affected by that. No. Alright, we've got a raid. We've got a group of pirates from the suicidal jaguars. One guy with a knife. Right, we have a gun somewhere. So I want to see who our best shooter is. And we'll go and shoot him. So Sage, how are you for shooting? One. One. Zero. Five. Okay, Blitz. You, you get the gun. You're going to run out naked and kill Bunny. Where's Bunny? I'll probably draft you and put you here with that gun. Reason being, I, I don't want you outside in the toxic fallout, so Bunny can come to us. Where did Bunny go? Wandering around like an idiot. Come on, we've got things to do. Hurry up. What's he doing like? Ah oh, cool, they're beginning their assault. Oh man, now we've got to take a prisoner. What a pain in the bum. I hate prisoners. I thought shooting him with a charge rifle would probably kill him quite swiftly, but no, apparently not. A bunch of gunshot wounds. Ugh. Okay, Blitz, you're undrafted. And we're going to have to put... Uh, no prisoner rooms. 
Okay, we've still got granite. Yeah, we've got loads of granite actually. We'll put a door on there and I'll make a granite bed in there. Oh, it's sandstone, right. Is that sandstone blocks we're making? Oh, right, okay, I need to redo some of these walls into sandstone then. I'm gonna have a mixed wall, unfortunately. Okay. Sandstone door then. And then also sandstone walls. Cancel all those walls. Sandstone block walls. Sandstone door. Can't remember where it was, about there, I think. Cancel all of these, make them all sandstone. At the moment, all I care about is the fact that we have a wall. I don't care what the wall is made of. If sandstone is what they have, then sandstone is what they will use. Sandstone bed before this guy dies, and then everyone's unhappy that he died. Sage, can you do a bit of work on that, please? Everyone's sleeping. Bunny has now got still initial toxic fallout. Um, someone needs to work on that bed, please. Oh, we've got another wanderer. Okay. Gee, that was quick. Okay, so we're going to need another bed. Another sandstone bed, probably. It's like they know that I'm running out of food. <laughs> oh, because now I've got about six people to feed. I can't do anything about it. I can release the prisoner, actually. That would probably be a wise thing to do in this case because we've got enough people. So as soon as he's like fixed up, we'll let him go. So we're gonna make that into a prisoner room, and then we'll get uh, Elf Zune to. Oh, did he die? Oh, okay, fine. I don't care. That'll be not for prisoners then. That'll be the first individual room. Uh, we'll need to dig a grave, unfortunately. That'll have to happen outside. Just to get him out of the way. I would have rather he died to start with anyway. I hope that hasn't affected anyone's mood too badly. Apparently, apparently they're more worried about being hungry and stuff, so that's fine. <laughs> I need to just check everybody's toxicity levels uh, in a minute. I always forget where graves are, so can we make a grave there? No, we need to make it on soil. That can be our graveyard up there then. I'm not going to make it a massive priority though. Elf soon has a cowboy hat. Yay! Anyway, don't wander around outside please. Eventually we'll have enough stuff made that I'll be able to tell them just to stay inside all the time. We'll give them really cool stuff. Okay, we're very very close to the point where we can start sewing. Which is good because we've only got 18 meals left. And we'll start off with just potatoes and rice in all the fields. Let's check on that. Doesn't seem to be having any trouble with being hit or anything like that, so that's cool. Blitz is doing an amazing job at constructing. So good. Lee's got carcinoma from toxic buildup. Whoa. She got cancer.
That's terrible. Okay, so this is going to be a, a thing then, isn't it? We're going to really need to keep them inside. Benway, I'm going to restrict you. You're just being an idiot. Just get out. Get back inside. I hope Blitz is okay, because he's out a lot at the moment. He's got initial toxic buildup. That's fine. Doing such a good job at constructing, mate. You really, really are. Really good. Three colonists are idle. Well, there's my. Oh, there is not mining to do. They should be mining here and here. And I need to reconstruct these out of. Okay, well, I think that that is going to be the end of the episode. I'm going to re reconstruct the door there. And then hopefully we'll get everything inside very, very soon. I, I'll, no, I'll let him finish his wall, because he's going to do that in just a second. And then we just need to get the roof on. Cool. Alright, we may need to make sure that's a roof area as well. Zone. Build roof area. Please build me a roof. All these places need roofs. Or roofs. Or however you like to say it. Okay, Blitz is going to construct that. Okay, that's going to be the end of the episode with them asleep. All sleepy and all happy. Uh, quite a long episode to start with, but we've got the starts of our base. Um, I can't believe someone's already got a carcinoma. I don't know whether that's something that we can ever treat, whether we need to give her a new stomach eventually or what, but yeah, that's a bit of a kicker. But it's probably something that, you know, I, I didn't even know that they could get that from the toxic buildup, so it's going to be quite an interesting one to play. Um, it might not be that I'm going to be able to play it for very long, but I'm going to try. So anyway, I hope you liked it, and if you did, leave me a like. And if you would like to uh, follow the series and see how I do with this horrible toxic map and see if everyone dies horribly, or whether I manage to keep them inside enough, I would say that this initial part is probably the most they'll have to go outside, but you never know. Raids and things, all sorts could happen, and it might mean that we have to go outside. But I'm going to try and keep them inside as much as possible, and hopefully we will make it to off the planet. And hopefully we'll make a nice base in the meantime. So if you want to see that, then please subscribe. And I'll let you know when the new videos are out. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.